Hello, I am in uh, Kotor city in Montenegro and I am walking in uh, old town of Kotor. The name of this church is uh, Church of Saint Nicholas. Uh, it's located in the northern part of Old Town uh, and the square is called Saint Luke Square. On the second floor uh, there is a Serbian flag on the church. It was built uh, in the early 20th century at foundation of an older building that was destroyed by fire in the 19th century. The building of the church started in 1902 and uh, according to the inscriptions on the facade it was finished in uh, 1909. That's not bad. Hmm? That's not bad. Ten pounds for a meal. It's not bad. Ten euro for a meal. That's not bad. <laughs> Kotor is a coastal town in Montenegro. It is located in a secluded part of the Gulf of Kotor. The city has a population of 13,510 and is the administrative center of Kotor municipality. So while walking on the street I am uh, keep coming back to the St. Luke Square again. The name of this church is St. Luke's Church and it was built in 1195 and uh, is an important symbol of unity for locals. The small church uh, is built in the popular southern Italian style of the day and was a Catholic church. In uh, 1657 it became an Orthodox church but uh, retained a Catholic altar and uh, had uh, services for both faiths. There is also a souvenir uh, market, small market. Uh, so I am walking uh, to see uh, souvenirs, handicrafts, antiques uh, in this market in Kotor. Walking in the old town. <laughs> no, see me, it's in your good. Now I'm coming to another uh, square and uh, this square where there is a cat museum. Uh, cat have always been a part of Kotor and now the Cats Museum of Kotor is a tribute to people's love of uh, their cats. The museum exhibits are from a huge collection 
uh, which was donated by Italians. Right, this is St. Michael's Church is a Roman Gothic single nave church erected at the end of the 13th or at the beginning of the 14th century. Uh, it was constructed on the foundation of an early Romanesque church. This is a well, it's uh, called uh, Karampana well and uh, it's an unusual well and it was a long time the only source of fresh water in the town and uh, there are uh, many myths uh, linked to this uh, this well but i think it was uh, uh, mainly it was a, a effective mechanism to source the deep underground water uh, the presence of uh, such a good source of water must have helped the town uh, when in siege situation so it is uh, nearly evening time uh, and uh, I'm at the entrance of the old town uh, at the city walls and uh, I'm going to walk along the Bay of Kotor. It's a submarine now. The night view of the Kotor by the docks and boats, uh, it's amazing and spectacular in Kotor city. I'm walking into this shopping center. Uh, there is uh, there is a couple of stores uh, inside. Right, this is the clock tower and uh, if you uh, come inside through the sea gate it's the one uh, one of the first building that you encounter uh, when visiting the old town of Kotor. It's a symbol of the old town it occupies a central place 
in the square opposite uh, the main gate built in 1602 uh, this tall tower looks down on a unusual stone pyramid it was once a pillory of uh, shame for wayward citizens after the 1667 earthquake the tower leaned towards the sea uh, later there had been some attempts to put it back in an upright position uh, but after the 1979 catastrophic earthquake it returned to the same position right i stayed uh, one night in uh, in the city so now is the it's the morning and i'm heading to the bus station uh, to take a bus from uh, montenegro to croatia and the bus will be from kotor city to dubrovnik I walked into the store, Mini Market Idea uh, is the name of the Mini Market and this is the local suites uh, of the Montenegro. This is the end of the video. To find out more, see the next part.